Hello YouTube and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization 6. We're in an endless Aurel Yourself type of a war here. But uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to learn my lesson. I'm just going to keep on with it and see where we get. Should it be a great time? I'm not succumbing to your demands, sir. How dare you? Yeah, see, like one crossbow you can deal with. But like, honestly, look at the damage that like basically three crossbows have done to us. Um, it's been pretty brutal and I don't know that we can really recover from it. Like, I need to take this city kind of now. And I didn't. Hey, May. How's it going? Entire map mode for checking if the time it belongs to the capital. No, pyramid still belongs here. Still just belongs there. can get more districts now, which would be good, but I want another builder here so we can get these castles. To save with a high skill gap, uh, Aztecs comes to, come to mind. Look at that first. Yeah, Aztecs can be a, a complicated sieve to get the hang of. Um, they are quite powerful, but like using their abilities uh, efficiently and in moments where it's correct to do so can be hard to judge. Uh, and so I would kind of say that they have a higher skill skill gap than most. Yeah, Poland can be complicated. Poland suffers from that uh, the needing too much culture syndrome to make their whole thing work. Money. If it... Oh my god, and he just got walls. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's ridiculous. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Didn't remember if I had that or not. So I guess I do. So boom, boom. Go there. We've almost got this castle online. Have some horses. Uh, 
Are you are you allowed to root against me in a war? I mean, that sounds mean, but I guess. Ah! Gotta kill that now. that we're somehow alive all right so next turn I can get this first vampire castle I think we have enough units to finish this. I I, I don't know. Hmm. I should never have pulled a uh, pulled up on the gas pedal. I guess. Rip. If I were again begin. Yeah, maybe he's just offended that I think Jay's a bad Civ. Battering Rams work only if they have movement points less left? No. They always work as long as they're next to the city center. Uh, the Robo. The Robob. <laughs> the Robob. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. All right. Nighter it is. Nighter time. All right, first vampire castle in the books. Is that good? I feel like this is good. 20 production and 20 food. No, 14 food. That seems good. So 20 production into our cap here, which is now 50. How is this still here? Do I build an encampment? So this is my next castle. I'd love to get terracotta. Statue would be okay, even. Might be too late. Is a Diplo Quarter worth building? I don't know. I haven't built it enough. I like, really haven't built it at all. Build the encampment here. I can't get any of the wonders really without disturbing this castle. Although, again, the castle doesn't have to be here. <laughs> exactly. You bring light in. <laughs> Zombie. I need like a rash of builders. I 
I think the cat the stats on the castle don't get upset if on the surrounding tiles if if after the change has been established. That's correct. So like if if we get something that improves the production of our mines, we'll have to reestablish the castle or like if it gets pillaged, it doesn't hurt us. So it's just at the time of when you build it. It's whatever whatever those yields are that your cap gets. All right, you butthead. Let me take your capital now. Theoretically, you could put the encampment there and not lose the, the, the castle. That's true. Yeah, that is true. That is true. But I assume we'll want, like, these. this, I mean, it's hard to picture a better castle than just 20 production. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that that's good. Now we can bring our vampire up. Although it's not very strong. 36 strength. It's the horse strength. Figuring there was a crossbow around somewheres. Two crossbows. Rebellion in four turns. We've got loyalty rising. If I move the governor, we're going to start losing some. Just a brutal war. I think I think this war is titled um, Lack of War Road. <laughs> uh, and then that maybe that's just a Highlands map thing and like timing, like trying to get a classical war to, to work on a such a big map. Kind of brutal. So we have to accept that we're going to lose a couple units here. Otherwise, I don't think we ever get through this. Single catapult just dies. It just dies to the crossbow. Don't need to buy this. It, we'll get it in a second. Uh, oh yeah, Water of Life for the Vampire, thanks.
City state. Oh, that's Fez. Hi, Fez. All right, how bad is this? Rebellion in two turns, rebellion in 66 turns. It's because he's retaken this. Man. Guess I should have pieced out a long time ago. We put in so many resources that we're not getting any return on. gonna lose these cities again has the enemy AI in my game so bad what do you mean what do you mean Draco saying something's bad isn't very like <laughs> what does that mean what does bad mean yeah it's a brutal one might have to peace out, to be honest. Did we have any niter? Niter. Yeah, but the niter units, like, I, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. But what I do have is a sweet, sweet vampire castle. It's this one. 24 production, 10 food, 5 culture, 1 faith. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We need housing in the cap now. There's more niter, I guess. Oh, we have a good amount of niter. Holy cow. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, yeah. I, who knows? I mean, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what the AI is up to. Wish I could get a decent commercial hub. This way. All right. So you got the water of life. So what do we do? I, I I think I have to make peace after all this. I don't have the money to keep the war going. I don't really have the economy to keep the war going. I don't have the science to fight Spain. It's only turn 98, so it's not like it's forever in the game. Two, four, we have two, four, six, well, those don't count because those will go back to them. Two, four, five cities. I can't put a harbor here. Sadly, I could put one there. <laughs> Man, one turn settlers. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll one turn some settlers without a policy card in there. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. So, what's our what's our long term plan here? Yeah, I realize. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Why not one turn some governor, government plaza stuff? I mean, whoa, 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 do I care about the government plaza? Realistically. So Petra can just go here. I can't build a district here anyways, right? And I can't I can't synergize with this. Oh, teasing out teasing about the ancestral hall. <laughs> I got you. That makes sense.
I think I gotta make peace. This sucks. Although, am I gonna lose this emergency? I have to defend this. <laughs> I guess I just lose the emergency. He has like just weirdly defensible land too. Like this this four part marsh here is really really problematic. He's got a nifty little road here on on like his high road defensive terrain. Uh, there are no road like that was a big part of his. We 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 forced in we got forced into the war by stealing the settler, um, which is obviously a good idea. But like it it didn't give us time to get a, a war road to him, and I I think that lack of of just movement infrastructure has really really slowed it all down. Um, and I just don't know that we have enough to keep warring. He's got walls. I can move here. We get shot, shot. This thing will shoot a thing. And we're basically just warring with our warriors still. <laughs> Alan. Alan redeeming some channel points. I need some advice. I miss you. How can I fix that? Um, I mean, I'm just spitballing here, Alan. But, like, I don't know. Maybe we could, like, play D&D &D later or something. Would that, would that help with your current state of of missing me <laughs> i miss you too man i i hope everything is is well in your world yeah late game bomber rush like that's where i'm at i think like start teching we have pretty good culture pretty bad science think that'll help good i'm glad to, i'm glad to hear it yeah I, again blue wings the should haves are really not helpful Like, I, of course, that stuff in hindsight makes sense. It's okay. I wonder if I can hold this. The, the, the reason I'm sort of changing my mind is this emergency. Because I can hold this sort of. And we're only 7.8 here. So if I bring in... Now we're rising? What's up, game on? Just fighting a really tough war here and trying to decide if it's worth it to keep going. I can't ever siege this city. Let's go a couple more turns. Now that I'm holding the loyalty, it feels it doesn't feel nearly as bad. We're still probably going to keep bleeding units here for a bit. I don't even know if he'll peace out with me with the uh, with the emergency happening. Yeah, I don't think he will. So that's not even really an option. Glasses, dude, thank you so much for the nine months. Thank you for the sub, baby. Welcome on back to the shop. Good to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, all right. I guess that's all a moot point. Moot, moot, moot. All right. Fine. Domries! I, don't, I, I seriously don't think I can defend. I don't, I don't think this is going to work. I believe I have to kill this encampment. Uh. 
I love having just all the borders. It's such a good feeling. Oh, man. This looks like a fine settle. Did you say that Domri is the worst unique unit in the game? I mean, it depends. Like again, I evaluate everything through the through the lens of deity, and it's it. There are a lot of units that aren't great on deity, and that's just deity stuff, right? Like that's not really a problem. It, it's not a fault of the unit or anything like that. Um, it's just based on based on the way the game works. Uh, they feel pretty bad on that difficulty. Um, what do I think the worst unique unit in the game is? No, the worst unique unit in the game is the Berserker. Can I bring war Rome into the war? Rome's up here. I guess, I, I mean, yeah, that would be kind of cute. Can you join? Th these don't help us. Him warring John and Jay don't help. Like, if he went to war Spain, that would be good. It's a good thought. Berserkers are used a lot in multiplayer. Again, I'm talking very specifically about deity, about how they work and feel on deity. Multiplayer is a very, very different thing. Everyone one is on the same, you know, everyone starts on the same page with multiplayer. It's a very, very different thing. Why do I think that the Berserkers are bad? Because they die. And building units that die are, are a surefire way to lose deity games, as you're seeing in this one, right? Um... The, the fact that there's a penalty on the on defense and their their upside really isn't worth it. So the Berserker is basically you build, they run into enemy territory, and they get killed by um, units. Yeah, the P-51 Mustang is pretty bad, too. I want to go take this. I really don't want to go encampment, although I'll get more housing out of it. Hmm. Hmm. You thought I'd rate the Inca Scout lower than the Berserker? The Inca Scout's good. Why would I rate that low? Right? Inca Scout's great. Science projects? Ooh. Okay. And Pingala's here. I'll take that. I'm not going to look at it right now, Groovy. I'm recording. I've always had a thing against Norway. I like Norway. Wait, what? Their berserker is just bad. <laughs> it's not my fault. And again, it's bad for deity play. I don't play the other modes, so I can't really tell you about it there. I'm a little astonished that we did not lose a unit there, but I will take it. Don't care if I lose the horse. Like not really. I could start taking down these walls. I'm like once and again in a spot where we bled too many units. And so it feels bad. I'm 
need you to go to the fountain. I do like, uh... I do like Hungry's music here. It's good. Petra is a brilliant display of man's artistry in turning barren rock game into saved. a majestic wonder. The game is officially saved. We got Petra. Always Petra. You know it, man. Look at these tiles now. They're so fun. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to get all the tiles. It's going to be great. We could... Oh! Oh, Petra Vampire Castles. Petra Vampire Castles? Could move it to there? I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's so good. So good. All right. Finally, we're in exploration. Now... Let's take out this. It is a bit of a relaxing stream today. It's it's like pretty relaxing not having to be on like camera. It's kind of nice. SL agent, welcome in. This sucks because we lose four combat strength to our units, but, like, I, I can't not switch into this. Keep Praetorian Guard in there. Put our... Our gold is pretty necessary. Surfdom makes sense. We could bring in Monumentality to go with it. That kind of makes sense. That feels bad. Problem is, too, we didn't get any, like, granted, again, no general would, would be able to help us, although it could help with our uh, crossbows at this point. I think even though you don't have to start with encampments, if you want to do war like we're trying to do here, I, I do think you need to uh, prioritize some. <laughs> nice dun dun. I never really played WoW. Oh, I love that so much. Why is that the greatest thing ever? All right, let's see if we lose a unit. What? 
What? What? Have a nuke. I need a nuke. You have a district in the third ring. Does it prevent you from settling a new city next to it with the gall? That's a great question. I don't know. Can I for science that somehow? No. Because I don't have any districts in the third ring. Again, I think I have to be willing to bleed these units. It sucks. I gotta start taking down the walls. Loyalty is mostly rising. No, it does not prevent dist the settling. Nice. Good to know. Thank you, Carl. Thank you, thank you. More please, more projects. 87 production cap with those vamp castles. Where's your goody hut? Right there. Okay, I'll grab it. We shall grab it soon. Yeah, he's got knights and domries. Betwixt the stir history is the man. Just losing units. Whatever. How do we ramp up for more military? Do I just build units? Bring some knights? Or should I worry about other economy at this point? I think I'm supposed to worry about other economy at this point. Yeah, Vampire Castle there is interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> A 
11 turns on this emergency. Mercy game, mercy. I hate the sound. The sound is so bad. What? Oh my god. Like, I think we're done. Can't do anything more. I've got three civs warring me with, and I have warriors. <laughs> oh man, we could just chalk this up, I think, to a loss slash don't want to play this anymore. I think I just want to play Econ Gull. That's so miserable. Yeah, so the correct move would have been to peace out back uh, back when we started the day, basically. Uh, pull back, just spread a bit, get more cities, uh, and then and then try to gear up. Frankly, frankly, when you're closer, I think Highlands Highlands map is really, really, really not conducive to war. Um, just based on like rough terrain, the amount of space that's there, the fact that you're that the AI like refuses to deal with barbs, and that we're gonna have to like deal with every single barb camp in the game, like that that certainly puts you back too. Um, and then the fact that you're going to have a ton of barb cams based on, on this and, and things like that as well. So, uh, I mean, yes, they are special warriors. It's true. They're very good warriors, uh, but not quite enough for this one. I don't think, I think we overestimate their uh, offensive ca capacity. I mean, I, I agree with that to some degree. Like uh, it's a really strong unit and I think you can get a lot done with it. Um, but I don't think, I don't think forcing it just like anything in Civ six, right? Like just about anything on deity in Civ six, if you, if you force it, it's not going to work like one in 10 games, you might be able to get away with something like that, depending on what your force it strat is. Uh, but I think that like most of the time you need to be somewhat flexible. Uh, that doesn't even, that doesn't mean you can't have a strategy or go in with like a, an idea of what you want to do. But like going in being like we're gonna use our ancient era warrior who has a limited uh, a limited span of usefulness um, and then just try to like throw it against your neighbor uh, d doesn't quite work. So whatever, it was a nice taste into it. Um, certainly a fun fun sieve, a really cool one. We'll do an econ game with them sometime soon. Very strong industrial zone districts. Uh, kind of felt bad not having other economy, but this absolutely uh, did do work for us, um, especially this early on in the game. But uh, yeah. Let's just call this one a loss, and we'll return to the gall at another point in time. Uh, so if you've been watching over on YouTube, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.